microscopic colitis is one of the chronic inflammatory bowel diseases and is an umbrella term used to describe two conditions, collagenous colitis and lymphocytic colitis. Both are characterised by chronic, non-bloody, watery diarrhoea along with normal appearances on colonoscopy. The diarrhoea may develop suddenly or may develop gradually over time and as it is chronic, by definition the stools will be more watery than usual three or more times a day for four or more weeks. The symptoms may also be present at night which helps distinguish from irritable bowel syndrome. Other symptoms include abdominal pain or cramping, fatigue and unintentional weight loss. Overall around 10% of cases of chronic non-bloody diarrhea are ultimately diagnosed as microscopic colitis. The prevalence in the UK and the United States is thought to be around 1 in 1,000 people, but it is thought to be an underdiagnosed condition. Most patients with microscopic colitis are over 50 years of age, with the majority being diagnosed between the ages of 50 and 60. However, around a quarter of patients are under 25 years of age at diagnosis. It is also seen more commonly in females, particularly the collagenous subtype, and is seen more frequently in patients who have autoimmune conditions. Smoking is also considered an independent risk factor, and some medications, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, proton pump inhibitors, Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and statins can all trigger microscopic colitis. The hallmark of microscopic colitis is that the gross appearance of the colon and the rectum on colonoscopy is normal, and it is on histology that the changes are noted. Specifically, for lymphocytic microscopic colitis, there are more than 20 intraepithelial lymphocytes per 100 epithelial cells. For collagenous colitis, a sub-epithelial fibrous band more than 10 micrometers in size is seen. An incomplete form of microscopic colitis is also included if the findings are not conclusive. First-line medication for microscopic colitis is budesonide, which is a type of steroid and has been shown to improve symptoms in 8 out of 10 people with a limited side effect profile. Lifestyle changes are one of the first steps taken as well, including cutting down on alcohol, caffeine and smoking, and often completing a diary in order to track the differences that these changes make. Medications are also reviewed to remove any of the potential triggers. Loperamide, which is an anti-diarrheal medication, can also be offered, as well as bismuth salicylate, and bile acid sequestrants like cholestyramine. These are used in patients who have bile acid malabsorption. In treatment resistant forms, biological agents such as infliximab or adalimumab may be tried, which are anti TNF alpha monoclonal antibodies, and in some cases, immunosuppressants such as azathioprine or mecaptopurin. Overall, surgery is rarely needed as the medical therapy is usually effective. But when it is necessary, ileostomy or subtotal colectomy are options.